Uh, this young girl is a you know, intermediate tennis player and she's very serious, but you can see there's a lot of over-rotation in her serve and not a lot of power. So before she came to her last lesson, I lined up the arrow and hit a few serves myself, just staying along the line. See that? I just lined my hips up and I just stretched straight across that line. See that? Now this time I even lined my feet up, so I have a semi-open stance. And you can see, you can hit the serve perfectly with a continental grip. It goes right into the court. See that? With a continental grip, it lines up perfectly at the 45 degree angle. You make contact comfortably. Keep your eyes up, very relaxed. You don't even have to follow through, and it should go right into the court. So, my student came for her lesson, and I said, look, I'm going to put the arrow out. What I want you to do is just line up your energy and keep it as close to this arrow as you possibly can. And the very, very first serve, she started understanding. I mean, she really got it. And her serves were more consistent, had more power. She was really staying on the ball. And she looked a lot more balanced, putting in a lot less effort. See that? Because she's really on the mark, you know? She's, she's with contact. Right. You can see it in all the players. Look at how Roger lines up those hips and look at that left arm. Everything's lined up to explode up into the 45 degree angle. And then as he comes through, he pushes that hip up. And right there, look at his hips. See how they lock at the 45? And look where his racket pronates. Right there at the 45 degree angle. Nadal too. Good lefty serve. Here it is again. Lines up the hips to the 45. Left arm and hips. Both lined up perfectly like a baseball pitcher. And at the contact, the racket pronates at the 45 and look at those hips. 